Welcome back. Problem 6-39. So statement is draw the shear and movement diagrams for the over, double overhanging beam. So from this figure you can see this is double overhanging beam and there is a point load at both ends while there is a distributed load from A to B that is 200 pounds per feet. So we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So let's start with the solution. First step will if we remove this support at point A that is a pin support. So there will be reaction force which is represented as AY and if you remove roller support at point B. So you will have a reaction force BY. So first we will find these unknown forces and we will move further. So for that we will apply equilibrium condition and this equilibrium condition is sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A the first moment is due to this load 400 and perpendicular distance is 3 feet and it will be clock counterclockwise moment so it will be plus. The second moment will be due to this load 400 and perpendicular distance is this 9 feet and it will be clockwise so it will be negative. The third moment is if we convert this 200 pound force into point load so this will be equal to 200 into over the length which is 6 feet and the perpendicular distance will be 6 by 2 which is 3 and this will be also clockwise so it will be negative so their sum must be equal to 0 so I will write and the one moment uh, okay so first moment is uh, let by and perpendicular distance is 6 and it will be counterclockwise so by into perpendicular distance is 6 the other moment is 400 into perpendicular distance is 3 which is this one and this is producing counterclockwise the other moment is due to if 200 load is converted into point load so it will be 200 over the length of 6 feet and the perpendicular distance will be this 3. So clockwise so it will be minus 200 into 6 and perpendicular distance is 3. Okay minus 400 into perpendicular distance 9 which is this one and this total distance is 9 feet. Their sum must be equal to 0. So when you solve this you will get by will be equal to 1000 pound okay so this is by now we can we will apply this equilibrium condition in order to find this ay so ay which is upward plus by which is 1000 pound minus this 400 newton and 400 newton so minus 400 minus 400 minus 200 multiply by the length 6 this one their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get a y will again equal to 1000 pound now it will be easier for you to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so we will give a try to that so if i draw vertical line from the end of the beams so these are the lines so first step is that we will draw the horizontal line in order to present the length that is in feet so i will project each point this point is three feet this point we have total three plus six is nine and here we will have 12 feet this point okay so we'll draw the shear force in pound now you can see that let each division is equal to 200 pound so 200 this will be 400 similarly minus 200 minus 400 minus 600 so now you can see at point a we have a load of 400 that is downward so first point is at x is equal to 0 we have minus 400 so we will plot it so this is your first point now you can see for moving from this point till point a there is no any other force so shear force remain same till this point so we will 
draw a horizontal line okay now at point a you can have you have a y which is thousand so minus 600 plus thousand will be equal to plus uh, uh sorry uh, min sorry minus 400 at this point plus there is thousand at this point clear thousand will bring it to plus 600 so shear force will suddenly change to this six this is 600 so shear force will change it to 600 so this is your 600 pound now again you can see that moving from this point till this point we have 200 pound per feet so 200 multiplied by 6 will be 1200 so at this point we will have a 1200 clear so minus 1200 so 600 minus 1200 will give you minus 600 so we will plot minus 600 is this point at a length of 9 meter 9 feet again the shear force you can see the load is horizontal with a zero degree line so shear force will be one degree higher so it will be a straight line okay now at point b you can see that you have by which is upward and thousand this is minus 600 plus thousand will change it to 400 so shear force will suddenly change to 400 at this point so we will draw a vertical line from here okay this will be a vertical this should be a vertical line okay now moving from this point b till this point you can see there is no other force so shear force will remain same and it will be 400 but at this end we have minus 400 so it will go down so this is your shear force diagram this point is six feet okay so we will now draw the bending moment diagram so how we will draw that so again you have to draw horizontal line okay and now we will plot the bending moment diagram so first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this one is uh, 400 is this length and three feet is its width so 400 into three is 1200 and since this is negative so the we will plot the point below so let each division is 3 400 so it will be 4 minus 400 minus 800 minus 1200 we have movement in pounds into feet so at point zero we have a movement zero at length of three feet we have minus 1200 which is this point now you can see that this area under the shear force diagram is negative so movement will be a first degree line with a decreasing slope so it will be a straight line okay now again you can see that the second area is this one second area is this one which is triangular so its area will be 1 over 2 into height is 600 and width is 3 so it will be 900 and this will be plus so again minus 1200 is here so plus 900 is this one so it will at this end it will bring to 300 so at length let 300 is this point this is your 300 minus 300 so mi minus 1200 plus 900 will bring it to minus 300 and since this is uh, the shear force is a decreasing slope and first degree line so movement will be second degree equation and this and it this the direction will be in clockwise 
so this will be your point again the third area over here is this one and this area and this area as are same but this is negative so it will be minus 900 so minus 300 plus minus 900 will bring it to minus 1200 so at this point we will have again minus 1200 so we will the uh, it will be again clockwise rotation now you can see the last area which is this one and this area is 400 multiplied by 3 which is 1200 so minus 1200 plus 1200 is equal to 0 so at this point we will have 0 moment okay now the shear force is a horizontal line with 0 degree so bending moment one will, will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing because this area is positive so we will draw a first degree line equation okay so this will be the shear force and bending moment diagram i hope you people are enjoying my video and you are learning as well again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest me uh, videos also i will ad advise you to watch the videos from the start till the end so that you can learn maxim maximum thank you for watching